Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create MIDI rhythmic patterns in Reaper. I have a project in front of me here where I've already created a MIDI synth. And I want to create some rhythmic patterns for it. So I'm going to start off by closing it, creating a loop from bar one to bar five by just dragging it, create a new MIDI item from bar one to bar five by holding down control on the PC, command on the Mac, and just dragging a new MIDI item. Then we could double click it, which opens up the MIDI editor. Now, in a previous video, I showed you how to create chords just by right clicking in this editor and adding them, by creating custom actions and adding them to this menu. So if you want to learn how to do that, go to the video right before this one called Creating Simple EDM Chords in Reaper. So I'm going to turn on my grid and snapping and set the grid to whole notes, straight whole notes with the length of the notes being the grid length. So if we create chords right here, they're going to be whole notes. So let's right click on the A and create a minor chord right here, which will sound like this. So now we can create a progression with four different chords. For the second one, we'll do an F or an F major. The third one will be a G or a G major. And the fourth one will be an E or an E minor. So the progression sounds like this. Pretty simple. But now we want to create more interesting patterns with these chords. So what we have to do is change our grid to a different size. Let's start off with quarter notes and keep them straight. Then we'll select all the notes and drag it over to just be a quarter note. Then we could duplicate it, control on the PC, command on the Mac to create a quarter note part like this. And if you want the notes to be shorter, just select them all, hold down shift as you drag the right side. We need to hold down shift so it'll ignore snapping. So it doesn't snap right to the grid. And we can readjust the size of these quarter notes. And if you want them to be exactly in half, just change the grid to eighth notes. And then just drag it without holding shift to the next grid line. So it'll sound like this. And if you want to change it up to play in the upbeats instead of the downbeats, just drag it over one box and it sounds like this. And we could also duplicate these notes to play them both, but change the velocity or the volume of the first note. So it'll be quieter and then louder. Giving you an upbeat, accented feel. Or we could just delete them and just have the notes on the upbeat. Let's undo all this. So we're back to the whole notes. And now let's change this from eighth note straight to eighth note dotted. And let's trim this to be one note and duplicate it to each box. And that'll sound like this. And again, we can shorten them by holding down shift.
We'll cut them in half by changing this to 16th notes and trimming it over. We could also put this back to eighth notes dotted and trim this to one note, but place it every other note like this. Creating this rhythm. Let's switch this to quarter note and triplet. And let's place these one in each box, which sounds like this. It'll sound better if we shorten them with shift. We'll cut it in half with eighth notes right to the grid. But let's put it back to eighth notes straight. Let's put one on each note. And again, we'll shorten them just a bit. We'll cut them in half right here. We'll create a 16th note feel just by duplicating these notes or shortening them. It's getting a bit too fast. So instead, let's create a custom pattern. Let's drag it over to just be a 16th note. Zoom in a bit. Notice everything we're doing over here is duplicating over here as well. So we can zoom in, and it's all going to work for each chord. So let's create a pattern with two notes next to each other. Let's keep adding on. Let's create another one by starting over, but this time we'll have the first one here and skip two spaces or two boxes for a few times. So I think you get the idea. The possibilities are endless. And it's very easy to do it just by dragging, duplicating, and adjusting our grid to either straight notes, dotted notes, to quarter notes, eighth notes, sixteenth notes, or anything you want. So that's pretty much it. That's creating MIDI rhythmic patterns in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Mm -hmm.